Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Wrath of the Righteous with me, Bring It Down. I'm going to put off doing the newest quest for just a little bit, because I do want to head back to the Ineluctable Prison. There's one thing I forgot to do while we were there. There was that perception check near where we fought the worms that described heavy breathing nearby, but we never found the source of the breathing. And I'm assuming, also that was a not so random encounter. Anyway, I was assuming that when we solved the puzzle that required the other two perception checks, they were just like the one that described the breathing. Whatever is there would appear. And I never went back to check after we did no that. No mistakes. This spell doesn't work like that. I'll go ahead. Lord Baphomet has sent me to bring him your head. You won't escape the Ivory Hunter. Your bones will join the myriad others. Sikkim. That's the name of the quest. Or went to go save the hand of the inheritor. Yet another obstacle. The light take you. I right, said so three Craglinorn blood trackers and Inger Magor. Without any buffs. Let's try this way. This should be fun. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get some summons out. Into the fray. All right, that's this one taken care of. I'm actually going to send Bismuth over here to finish him off. Mind over muscle. I will resist. The Alright, never mind. Well, Weird just took care of the entire fight for us. Alright, where is Dispel Magic at? We'll cast that on him. Like so. Your performance is low. Oh. You are back. I'm not gonna lie, that fight made me hesitate a little bit, and then Ennio came in a and <laughs> You're irrelevant. Save the day. Ivory Hunter's key. An ornate key carved from the bone and found on the body of a powerful minion of Baphomet. Okay, and what is that used for? Now, this is a set location, so we're going to check for any way. loot in the corners. Close on all these bodies. Yeah, there's a time when Craglin arms were a proper threat. I mean, it was early on in Kingmaker, but still. Pardon me. <laughs> I'm curious if I can move him over here. Because I'm guessing the enemy armies won't pursue our armies. They're on a predetermined path on their way to Dresden. So I'm assuming he's safe. And if not, it's not a huge deal if we lose this army. I do want to test that.
Also, one of the armies to the south is a level 10 army. That gives me a little pause. I'm going to use my damaging abilities on that army for the Western Warrior's sake. Unlike the other army, they cannot one-shot every army they come across on their first turn. I'm actually going to rest up first. This could be a boss fight. So we did already fight one of the secret bosses. Because we got the achievement for killing the a Ashen Lady. Hey, so what's it like being immortal? Knowing that if you're lucky, your time is never going to run out. It's not as great as you might think. I know plenty who were driven mad by the idea of eternity, the immensity of it. Living too long is as much a curse as dying too soon. Time's not waiting. All right, so back over this way. That's not a very large area. I'm hesitant to buff up before we actually go over there. If I could, I would scout ahead of just one stealth unit for the first and only time in this playthrough. Just I don't waste time buffing if I don't have to. But if I make this uh, skill check, it's going to make the whole party jump across. See if I can buy myself some time. I'm gonna do this. Go across. See if there's an enemy there, and if there is, we'll jump across. Let's have Samira. We defeated her once before, so I'm actually not too worried about this. Have Samira, Baphomet's daughter, and now a disembodied ghost. Let's out a half moan, half growl. Her skull is crushed, her wound exposing a gleam of white bone. The one eye dangles precariously from its socket. A broken wheeze escapes the throat of the once majestic and fearsome warrior. He stops screaming. What a relief. He's finally shut his mouth. Okay, I think that indicates that she only appears once the hand of the inheritor is saved or killed. Upon noticing you, she steps back in terror. Did father send you to torture me? Why? Why would he do that? I served him well. What are you doing here? Hiding. They say being the daughter of Baphomet is a great gift, but like all of my father's gifts, it was poisoned. That poison is known as mortality. I'm a Nephilim, and unlike demons, I must share the fate of the most worthless minions of the Lord of, Lord of Beasts. Upon death, the souls of all of his, all of his slaves are bound here, and I remain in, his, in this torment forevermore. Can't read. You don't look quite as proud and self-assured as before. She flinches as if from a blow and whispers in a voice that sounds both defeated and hateful. All those pathetic wretches, executioners and jailers that used to grovel to me, begging for my favor, now they're getting even with me. They hound me and torment me. I'm hiding here to avoid them. And a little while ago, they began torturing that lousy angel, your friend, and his screaming. Whenever I hear, heard his scream, it felt as if my ghostly flesh were falling apart, and it hurt. You shouldn't have put your faith in your father, 
Miss Amira gnashes her spectral teeth and nods. The old piece of crap turned his back on me. On the best of his brood. I sacrificed my own mother to him. I did so with hundreds of my brothers and sisters. And this is how he repays me. Her voice trembles with hurt. When he made me his Archpriestess, he said that title would grant me protection of a rare kind. Every Archpriest of a Demon Lord may summon their Master in their hour of need, and the Master must answer the call. They'll come, but they simply cannot refuse. Such is the power of the pact between the Demon Lord and their Archpriest. What a weird contract to make. But my father came just to betray me. Why? I bet he was helping his new favorite, the one that took my place. Because that Borlesh is precious to him. I hate him. I hate them both. I don't know if she wants to fight. I don't have time to talk to you. Then get out. I'm not the one who came here to gloat. I was never good at stealth. The but I'll try. I didn't come here to gloat either. You know what? Let's try finding her. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. Epsira mutters through her teeth, her voice filled with hatred. Have you come to mock me? Just you wait. One day you'll be trampled by those you worship too. I don't like loose ends. Only madly, the ghost dissipates before your eyes. I hate you. Oh, how I hate you all. They'll never see me coming. Okay, because we don't get to fight her anyway. Thanks, Lan. You're so I mean, she's awesome. already dead. I suppose it would make sense that it would have been her here, uh, since I think Baphomet even indicated that her ghost was around in the prison somewhere. I think she also confirmed that her appearance depends on you finishing the dungeon. And not the two perception checks like I thought. Or I guess the puzzle associated with the two other perception checks. A little disappointed I came all the way back there just for that short conversation, but it's fine. No loot. No exciting battle. But now we can go do Nenio's quest and proceed. Oh, the dragon has new abilities, so you have Thunder Tread. Unit receives a minus four penalty to attack for the next turn. It deals attack damage to all enemies, enemy units within a radius of two squares. And blow through. Unit receives a minus four penalty to attack on its next attack. Unit's next melee attack will deal full damage to the target and half attack damage to all enemy units in a cone behind the target. That's neat. Oh, that's why they fly. Here's a new ability too, a shield wall. Unit gains a plus four bonus to armor class and a minus four penalty to attack. A grand tier unit, a plus eight bonus to armor class and a minus eight penalty to attack. As well as a minus 20% penalty to damage while the ability is activated. So you make him super tanky, but he won't do a lot of damage.
All right, resounding success. This is not a fight this demon army wants to take. Delete. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. I would love to have a showdown between uh, my commander and that general. Let's see who comes out on top. A couple things I can do here. I think it's better to set a trap uh, in front of these guys. Do something like this. That was a waste of... Okay. Slow him down a little bit. Uh, take care of this guy. I believe these guys are so tanky. But granted, this is a, a very powerful army in general, so. Maybe it's less their tankiness and less my damage. Or more my damage. I guess more my lack of damage. <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say. But you guys don't. <laughs> all right. That's all the demonic armies taken care of for now. Still trying to get this guy down here. Finish mapping out this area. I think we have a teleport here, right? Yeah, Gargoyle Canyon. I really should be trying to kill more time. You know what? I also want to run across the Skeletal Merchant again. He has one more stock I want to look at. So I'm going to teleport to Dresden. 
and then walk to the Nameless Ruin. I'm gonna take the middle road. I've borrowed several scrolls of calculations from Polaris Stargazers. Listen to this. Listen. The traversal of Alboros across the lunar face plus 13, margin of error 9. Well, I can't read any more. What comedian wrote this? Ah, stop. You're killing me. Can we stop laughing yet, or will she take it personally? I do really appreciate the dynamic. Party banner. It actually recognizes what you've done in the game. This is neat. Alright, so we have four masks for four statues. Oh, we might find the last tablets here too. There's so any of the tablets Focus for the final the veil. Goal. It is called the final veil, so I guess after. And it, those puzzles I'll are connected ahead. to her quest. So yeah, maybe that's, that's what's going to happen. Then we'll finally be able to solve the Heart of Mystery. See, we've had this quest since what, Act 2? It's been a long time coming. Oh sweet, it gives you the clue here, so I don't actually have to click on the, uh... The puzzle. Alright, so I am the- I am the end of the road, I am superiority, I am loneliness. Take my mask off and let it fall at my feet. End of the road. I'm assuming it's a summit, right? Summit also correlates with superiority and loneliness. So we'll put that up there. I'm the void and the emptiness. I'm the starting point. I'm infinite. That sounds like darkness to me. Well, it could be a circle too. The side of that quite yet. What's this one say? I'm the impetus to act. I'm a reason for torture and a cause for insomnia. That sounds like the question. I'm the unknown. I scare cowards but reveal my secrets to the brave. That's darkness. Okay, this is circle. Go the truth. Open yourself to knowledge. Reveal yourself. Mysterious portal. I'm pretty sure the last time I went through a golden portal, it led me to the spawn of Rovagug and Kingmaker. <laughs> so, maybe I should just go through here blindly. Oh great, all these guys have fallen me in too. <laughs> Behold the truth. Open yourself to knowledge. Reveal yourself. The cold and different voice fills the emptiness around you. It does not sound masculine or feminine. It does not beckon you forward or entice you with the promise of reward. It is merely formulating a problem that must be solved. Then he rubs her nose. Here I come, the greatest scientist of Glorian. Together with my loyal follower, we've solved the riddles of your statues. Now I wish to have a conversation with you. And maybe conduct a couple of experiments while we're at it. The absence of an answer is an answer too. That's not true. The absence of an answer just means that you should keep searching. There must always be an answer. 
The voice is empty and emotionless. The Enigma knows the answers to all questions. Really? You have all the answers? Fine. Let's put you to the test. Where did I put my whetstone? Is there a breed of demons whose name starts with the letter Z? What recipes for spicy rat chili do you know? The barrage of questions is met with gloomy silence. Rushalai shivers, as if caught by a sudden chill. I don't like it in here. This place... I feel the presence of something immense, terrible, and inescapably evil. The Enigma. I think I've heard of this place. Knowledge springs to your mind immediately, as if it were simply waiting for the right moment to appear. I guess in Sosial's mind. <laughs> uh, the Enigma is an abyssal plane. Is the abyssal realm of Reshkogal. Uh, this mysterious demon lord is Lamashu's daughter, the keeper of secrets. Nenya notices your frown, and nods gravely. The entity that spoke to us knows all the answers. I must meet it at once. Who are you? You're met with silence. Heavy, stifling, absolute silence. You strain to hear something, anything, that break the oppressive, unbroken stillness. What is this place? Same description. Anenio, where are we? Who is talking to us? The voice called this place the Enigma, and I have only one place that goes by that name. We're in the Abyss, in the abyssal realm of the most mysterious of all demon lords, the enigmatic Ereshkigal. Nenio frowns pensively, but this changes nothing. I still want to talk to her. This place might be dangerous. Dangerous is another obstacle on the way to knowledge. Nenio's voice is firm. You've never heard her sound so determined. I've evaluated all the potential risks of this experiment. I will conduct it, with or without you, though the first option is obviously preferable. Well then, let's continue forward. Get my full support, loyal follower. But we can't just leave if we want. Alright, what's the size of this place? Oh, so far very tiny. <laughs> what is this guy doing? I feel like I should buff up. Right up Magic Spring. The darkness at the bottom of the spring exudes a calm blue glow. Blue Bonding Source. A jagged blue stone that emits a subtle glow and quivers slightly in your hand. I'm glad I was useful to you. Can't hide from me. So he's not going to come to life as well. He might have to reactivate this, so I'll put Bismuth over there just in case. Into the pyramid. Oh, is this a pyramid? Yeah, it looks like it might be the front side of it. Looks like I may have missed the loot back here too. take this back? Nope, I cannot. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside. Alright, this area is a little bigger. So I think I'm gonna call it. 
grab this. Alright, so I think I'm going to call the episode here. Off camera, I'm going to buff up, and in the next one, we'll continue through the Enigma. So for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.